In this video, we're going to learn all about pyramids. A pyramid is a type of solid, it's a polyhedron that has one base and a bunch of lateral faces that all meet up in one single point. Pictured below, we have two pyramids. The one on the left, if you notice its base, it's a hexagon, it has six sides. So that means this, uh, this is a hexagonal pyramid because its base is a hexagon. All of the other faces are triangles, and those are called the lateral faces. And all of those lateral faces meet up in a single point here called the apex. If we look at the pyramid on the right, its base is a triangle. So one name for this would be a triangular pyramid. And again, all of its lateral faces are also triangles, and all of those lateral faces meet up in one point. Now, when we're talking about pyramids, you'll often want to figure out their surface area or their volume. So remember that the idea of surface area is how many little unit squares would it take to cover the whole solid, all of its faces. So to figure out the surface area, you're figuring out the area of each of the faces and adding it all up. It's sort of like figuring out the area of the net if you were to unfold the whole solid. So in order to figure out the surface area of a pyramid, you'll need to figure out the area of the base and add it to the area of all the lateral faces. Because the lateral faces are always triangles, you'll need to know a special measurement in order to figure out the area of those triangles. You'll need to know something called the slant height. And the slant height is the height of the triangles that are the lateral faces. So it's not actually the height of the pyramid, it's called the slant height because it's actually slanted and it's the height of the face. So if you can imagine trying to figure out the surface area for this triangular pyramid, you would need to know the height of this triangle and the length of the edge down there in order to figure out the area of the triangle. Now what about volume? If you want to figure out the volume, we're going to actually relate pyramids to prisms. Remember that to find the volume of a prism, you need to figure out the area of the base and multiply it times the height. Because that tells you the area of the base is how many little unit cubes you would need for one layer of the solid and the height tells you how many layers you need. Now for a pyramid, it turns out that the volume is the area of the base times the height, but then divided by three. So in other words, a pyramid is always one third the volume of a corresponding prism that instead of meeting up in one point, just goes straight up to a parallel base. So keep in mind that when you're figuring out the area of the base, it depends on what shape it is. So if it's something like a hexagon, it takes a lot of work to figure out the area of the hexagon versus if it's a square, it's probably easier. But you need to use whatever techniques that you know for finding area to find the area of the base and then multiply by the height which is the height of the overall pyramid. So that's the straight perpendicular distance from the apex down to the center of the base. And then take that result, which would have been the volume of the prism, and divide it by three. 